Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geeky Lemon Development and welcome to our weekly tutorial and this week I'll be showing you how to create a table view. Now here's a basic demonstration of what we'll be creating today. It's a normal table view with a title at the top and three rows, one, two and three and you can simply click on the first row and we'll go to our detailed view where our label will be displayed telling us what row we clicked. And if we go back to row two, tell us we click row two and again for row three. So already I have my project set up. It's a navigation based application and I've simply named it Project Table View. Now the first thing we want to do is go to our root view controller .h and add an NS array for our, our rows. So I'll zoom in for you now. We type in capital NS array space asterisk and I'll name the array content array. And that array semicolon, save that and then zoom out. Then we need to head over to our root view controller.in. And just after the import, just press enter, zoom in. And we need to import our app delegate. So to do that, we do hashtag import. And because our project is named project table view, so we start by typing project table view, and then the app delegate.h is what we need. Yours will be different depending on what you called your project. So put that in there and save it. And once you've done that, go to your view dig load, which is just here. And after the first curly bracket, press enter. And then type in your NS array, which was renamed content array, space equals space bracket bracket, and capital NS array, space array with objects. And then press enter. And did it at symbol quotation mark quotation mark and in between the quotation marks will be the name of our first row which we'll name it one and our second process uh, symbol quotation mark quotation mark and make sure at the end you do a comma and our second one we'll name two and repeat the process for the third one make sure there's a comma at the end three and then just after nil we do bracket retain then finish it with a bracket in a semicolon. Then save that. Just zoom out now. Then we scroll down to our self row at index. It's just here. And after the configure the cell, just press enter. And we need to type in. I'll zoom in for you now. Cell dot text space equals space bracket content array space object at index in the highlighter section we type in index path dot row and that array bracket in a semicolon and also just if you go up here we've got the number of rows in section we simply want to comment the return zero so do that with two forward slashes and underneath that we type in return and in the expression we do bracket content array space count and then that array bracket in a semicolon. Save that and I'll zoom out now. So now if we go to our main view dot xib and then click on navigation control at the bottom which will bring up our navigation view and double click on the tab bar at the top and give it a title. By doing that it will create a button for us to switch back once we go into our detailed view. So once you've done that, simply save that. And now we need to add our new view. So we click on, right click the title there and go new file. Make sure it's a UI view controller subclass and press next. And make sure it's a subclass of our UI view controller and make sure you check that it has an XIB for the interface. And then we name it detail view controller. So when you've saved that, you need to go straight into your detail view controller.h and we add our int and our UI label. So to do that, I'll zoom in for you now. We type in int. Now name the int simply row capital number. 
and every semicolon, then IB outlet space URI label space asterisk, and in the label simply message. Easy to understand. Now to save a little bit of time coding, simply copy that, paste it down here, and then make sure there's a space between the start of int here, and then start by typing at property bracket read write and then bracket and do the same again make sure there's a space in between the IB outlet and do at property bracket non-atomic comma retain and make sure you end that with another bracket so then you can save that and then zoom out we can now go to our detail view controller.xib and we'll add our label in So simply drag a label in and make sure you make it wide enough for the text to be displayed and click on file zoner and drag the message connection all the way over to your label then save that and then go into your detail view controller.m where we need to synthesize the message and our int so to do that we do at symbol synthesize property and there we go I'll zoom in for you now and our label is named message comma and our int was named row number there we go and that of a semicolon then we save that and zoom out then go to our root view controller dot h where we need to add the class of our detail view controller so just after the import press enter zoom in again so do at class and the name of our new view was detail it wasn't all capitals detail view controller just copy that line there so as we're going to mini it quite often so it's easier and quite quick to code. So once you've done that, end of a semicolon and then press save. And just after the array, yeah, press enter, paste in detail view controller, press space, then asterisk, then DV controller, capital on the controller, and that with a semicolon. Save that there. Then go to just after the last curly bracket there we need to do at property non-atomic comma retain bracket then paste your detail view controller in again and again just simply type out dv controller and that way semicolon to save that now we zoom out and we need to scroll all the way to the top and add in or import our new detail view controller so we do hashtag import detail view controller dot h and save that and zoom out now we need to synthesize our dv controller so just after the implementation we do that symbol Synthesize DV controller and finish out with a semicolon. Save that and then zoom out. Now we need to scroll down all the way down to did select root at index path, this one here, and highlight all of this statement in between the two curly brackets. And I'll zoom in for you now. And then we need to start our code by if oh, if and in the condition we type in DV controller space equals equals nil and then in the statements here we start with our detailed view controller asterisk a controller capital C space equals space bracket bracket detail view controller a lock and then there a bracket then space in it with nib name and in the nib name here we do that symbol quotation mark quotation mark just be moving you now and this is we need to add the name of our nib file for the new view we added which is the same as the dot h and dot m so it's detail view controller 
and in the bundle we need to add nil. And that very bracket and a semicolon. And then press enter twice so it gives enough room to write out the next line which is self dot dv controller space equals space a controller and that very semicolon and again two more enters gives enough room as we need to release the a controller space release and then a bracket in a semicolon now just after the semi um, the curly bracket here in between the last curly bracket we need to do bracket bracket self navigation controller then bracket, space push controller in the first highlight section we need to do dv controller and in the animated we need to do yes and then a bracket and a semicolon save that and then we'll zoom out now we need to go to our detailed view controller h we add our void statement now for for it to update the label automatically on the view loads so to do that do dash bracket void Now name it up, date, row, number, get int, bracket the index, and that of a semicolon, and then copy that line so it saves a bit more time in the next view. You can save that, we'll zoom out now. Now we need to go to our viewcontroller.m for our detail view, and our place is just after the first statement there. So just enter a few times to make enough room and then paste in that line. Zoom in. Just get rid of the semicolon at the end. Replace that with a curly bracket and press enter. And then we start with the code by typing row number space equals space the index space plus space one semicolon. Then press enter. Then message dot text space equals space bracket capital NS string space string with format with format and we do at symbol quotation mark quotation mark and in between here this will be what will be displayed when the label loads up in the view which will be row then the number of the view so we do percentage sign then the letter I as that will automatically display the number was clicked. After the quotation mark we do comma space row number colon. Save that. Now we can zoom out. Now we need to go to our root view controller dot n. Now in our statement did select row at index path just here. Just after this curly bracket press enter. Zoom in for you. We type in bracket dv controller space update row number and in the int we do index path dot row and end that row bracket and a semicolon. Save that. Now we zoom out and we go to our detail view controller dot m. And then we look through the void view did load and in the view did load just here after the bracket, zoom in again. We start by typing message dot text. ns string string with format then here we do the at symbol quotation mark quotation mark space percentage i was clicked and after that we do comma row number finish out with a bracket and a semicolon Save that. Now we need to release the message and the DV controller in both deluxe in the this view and in our root view.m. So in this deluxe here, just at the top, do bracket message release and then a bracket in a semicolon. Save that. Now zoom out. Go to our root view controller.m and in the lock it's at the bottom here. Same process, but this time it's the DV controller. The DV controller release bracket semicolon. 
Save that and I zoom out. So that's all the coding that's needed in the to make a table view. So you can go straight away to build and run. So here we have it. Our table view here, you have three rows, and when you click on row one, it takes you to our detail view and it displays row one was clicked, and you can go back here. Number two, row two was clicked, and three, row three was clicked. So I hope this helps any of your apps or projects at the moment. Make sure you favorite and like this video, so you have it for future reference. Also follow and like us on Facebook and Twitter, all the links will be in the description below, as well as the links to our apps which are currently on the App Store. Make sure you go check them out. Also, the link will be in the description for the full source code for this project and all our other projects, all on our website. But if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you all next week.